Hi there, the internet. Uh, today I want to talk about this thing that I get. Uh, I go on tour and I come back and I get this kind of post-tour blues, this sort of post-tour depression. And uh, not the kind of depression where you kind of dehydrate yourself because you spend all day weeping into a bin. <laughs> Why? More the kind of uh, depression or, you know, the blues where you go from the sensation of an entire month of drinking some delicious, refreshing, uh, tangy Fanta to the sensation of drinking sun-kissed. The kind of day after your birthday kind of blues you get where you realise you're not going to be special for another entire year. It's like the longest point away from your birthday. <sighs> I mean, I think, I think the best way I can explain it is going from New York City, which is like this. Woo! New York! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hurry! 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 To coming back to Perth, which sometimes can feel like this. And I don't know exactly why it is, but you go from a month long in another city where there's a, it's a festival, it's a party atmosphere. Woo! Spring break! Everyone's having a great time, and you know, it's cool, because we're on tour, and we're living the dream, and we're rock stars, and it's awesome. And all of a sudden, we come back, and it's back to reality, you know? Strangely enough, that sensation never happens when I come back from Canberra. <laughs> but no, I've never been to Canberra. I mean, it could have to do with the fact that when I get back from tour, normally I have no money. Yo, help me out, man! I rap for money! And all of a sudden, I've stopped drinking every night. You can't tell me what to do! I'm a rock star, baby! This isn't my house. You know, and after a couple of days, I'll be back to normal, but... You know, just for those few days, you kind of have the blues, thinking, oh, life's not always a big party. And, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what it is. And sure, you might be watching this, and you might think, yeah, that's all well and good, dude. But keep in mind, I work 365 days a year, 24-7 at a 9-to-5 job, that I don't even like working for minimum wage for the man in this one-horse town, while you get to spend at least half of your year flying around the country, if not the globe, doing what you love, getting paid to perform, and essentially stand on stage and act like a dickhead for money, and you get to do what you love. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here. And you have the nerve to complain to me? Alright. Yeah. Fair enough. Good point. Well made. Bye, internets. Come on, boys, let's break some hearts. Never in a dream. Come on. Off we go. I rap for money. <laughs>